and welcome. Gather your supplies. I have a canvas board, painter's tape, paper towel. I'm going to be using white, black, and red. We got water, one for wetting our paintbrush and one for cleaning our paintbrushes. A palette, or you can use a piece of cardboard or a piece, piece of paper, something of that nature. And I have three sizes of brushes, one inch, approximately a half inch, quarter inch, and then a super fine brush. You are welcome to replace this fine brush with a permanent marker as always, because usually this is just for outlining details in the painting. All right, we are gonna get started right away. And we're gonna make this companion for our ghost, our lady ghost. Uh, obviously I didn't clean my palette off from the last time I painted, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started right away with white and black. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess. I will be your paint instructor. So get ready and strap in your seat belts for a wild ride because this is going to be fun. But we're going to start with um, black. The red is going to be for uh, details later on. Wait, I showed you two of the same paintbrushes. I was like, this is a quarter, half inch and a quarter inch. These are the Hello same. Hello and welcome. Gather your supplies. I have a canvas board, painter's tape, paper towel. I'm going to be using white, black, and red. We got water, one for wetting our paintbrush and one for cleaning our paintbrushes. A palette, or you can use a piece of cardboard or a piece, piece of paper, something of that nature. And I have three sizes of brushes, one inch approximately a half inch, quarter inch, and then a super fine brush. You are welcome to replace this fine brush with a permanent marker as always, because usually this is just for outlining details in the painting. All right, we are gonna get started right away and we're gonna make this companion for our ghost, our lady ghost. Uh, obviously I didn't clean my palette off from the last time I painted, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started right away with white and black. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess. I will be your paint instructor. So get ready and strap in your seat belts for a wild ride because this is going to be fun. But we're going to start with um, black. The red is going to be for uh, details later on. Wait, I showed you two of the same paintbrushes. I was like, this is a quarter, half inch and a quarter inch. These are the same size. All right, I just realized that I showed you the same paintbrushes because these are both a quarter inch. This one's just, here, sorry, these are both a half inch. Here's my quarter inch. All right, so let's get started um, right away with our background. I'm actually gonna use this half inch paintbrush and kind of just outline where the ghost is going to be with a circle, kind of making, it almost looks like a keyhole. That's all you need. Um, I just don't wanna put a bunch of black right behind that. I'm gonna work around that, grabbing my one inch paintbrush, getting it just a little bit wet, and I'm gonna work black in the edges in the corner, and I'm gonna use a very dark charcoal gray color by adding just a little white as we get closer to the ghost. Ooh, I am so excited for Halloween. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. I do make content like this every Tuesday and every week. I try to make my videos better, more engaging, learn from them. So feel free to always give me feedback as long as it's constructive and helpful. Otherwise you can just keep it to yourself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was also thinking the other day that I should really, um, I'm going to be starting to turn some of these Halloween things and some of my cartoon paint tutorial paintings into prints and I don't know, other things, coffee mugs, I could do greeting cards. So if there's anything in particular that you want, shirts, sweaters, I don't know yet. I'm just going to play around with that. So keep an eye open for that it'll be I'll post about it on Instagram I'm gonna grab a little white now I'll post about it on Instagram um, and here and let you guys know but 
it should be really fun. So yeah, I'm just working a little white paint around the edges. to be very, um, I don't know, just a very textured background, I guess. Have some character and movement. All right, let's let this layer dry. Uh, take about 10 to 20 minutes to let this first layer dry. Otherwise, if you are like me and you're very impatient, you can grab a handheld battery operated fan or a blow dryer set on cool like this one and you can dry it. Just make sure you move your palette so that you don't dry all the paint that you just set up. All right, we'll see you when this layer is dry. So that is dry. Here's the painting from last week, just for reference. We're going to be making something similar to this, except for he's going to have a cute top hat and a bow. It's going to be amazing. Let's get our half inch paintbrush and our palette. I'm just going to get just a little bit wet and grab white. We're going to start by making a circle up here. And this will just be the second layer. We're going to do another layer on top of this. And then we're going to do arms down or two aligns down. And we'll do some wiggly lines this way. So I'm gonna have my ghosts kind of looking at each other. So I gotta think about which direction I want him facing. I want his, like we're gonna put his face and eyes so it looks like he's looking that way. Which means I'm going to actually make this side longer, about the same size, I guess. And let's just fill all this in with a nice layer of white. If you want, you could use a bigger paintbrush too. know in the comments below like what should their names be I think I'm gonna also make this like I said as prints that you can buy together and that will be titled hey boo like get it like they're ghosts haha -ha. um, but yeah all right, that looks like a nice first layer. We're gonna go ahead and let that dry so that we can do our second layer of like the brightest points, which will be around the face and front body. Um, we can add some wispy lines too. All right, we'll see you in five, 10, 15, 20 minutes when this layer is dry. Let's grab some more white paint. Uh, let's do a nice big circle around the face where the face will be and like I said we're gonna have the face kind of pointing that way so we're gonna actually leave some space on this side of the body to do some darker or some very light gray to represent like the shadows and dark areas so get that started He's also going to have some arms that go this way. So just kind of mapping out those points that are going to be lighter colors versus the light gray colors. So bright white versus light gray. And there will be another line of white that goes down. So almost like a balloon, like you're making a circle up here. 
uh, or like a lollipop. I'm also going to do some around the outside edges right here and here where this bump where this indent is that way we know like right here between we're going to do some light gray to create this shadow so i'm just using like a u shape a very shallow u shape of this bright white all right now let's grab a little black but just like a little bit um and a little white on our paintbrush I'm going to mix them together over here to make a light gray and we'll go around this side of his body. That's almost too light so I'm going to just add a little more white to that. I'm going to go around his arm and under it. I'm going to go down this point and here. I'm going to go under and on the side and around his other arm. And then we'll kind of blend it all together. Especially these bottom parts to kind of create like it's going up and down, if that makes sense. Add a little more to the bottom edge. And you know, if it's a little too dark, that's okay too, because we'll probably go over all this with a nice layer of white, like an opaque layer that will kind of create this like wispy, ghostly effect. I need to grab more white. There's also this dried paint's coming up, <laughs> so I gotta take that off. All right, more white. I just want to add a little more white to help blend those gray colors in. And lighten some of them up. wipe some of this off so I get more of a bright white color now. Go around the face one more time. Grabbing just a little black. So what I'm doing here is where the white is, where this white color is, I'm 
bringing my brush strokes down towards the feet and where the black is I'm doing the opposite rainbow shape to create that effect that I want that wavy effect grab white all about the layers. Okay. That looks like a really good base layer. Let's let this whole thing dry so that we can add the face. I think we're ready to add the face next and then we'll do like the wispy layers so the second layer all right i'll see you guys in about uh, 5 10 or 15 minutes all right here comes the fun part i'm actually gonna grab this brush because it already had black on it so we are gonna do the eyes so let's remember which way we kind of want our I need a smaller brush. Um, I'm just trying to look at which way I want them to be facing because it kind of looks like she's looking this way. So yeah, he should be looking towards her. Sorry, I don't know why. I don't know. So we're going to do the eyes closer, closer to this side versus that side. So it looks like they're looking at each other and we'll do his hat on the opposite side of her bow. So we're going to start with some wonderful teardrop shapes. And I think instead of giving him, no, we'll do like, instead of like a circular mouth, he's going to kind of have like a smiley mouth, but still very rounded. I'll probably refine that with a small paintbrush or you could use um, your Sharpie. Okay. Very cool. Let's grab some white. You don't even need to clean it off, just there's a lot of white here. Um, I'm going to make a very thin layer of white with water because we are going to go around and do our opaque layers. So I'm just making sure that I don't have a ton of paint on my paintbrush. I'll probably even grab some to just water down over here. Make it a little lighter. Add some water so it's nice and thin. We'll just go around and do that. I'm going to probably make the wisps on his this side, this right side, longer. and kind of flowing this direction so it looks like he's moving towards his lady ghost. I'm doing this with a quarter inch brush, but I'll probably do some layers with my half inch brush also. And I might even do more of just a white. Sorry if I'm jostling the camera. So on those areas that we created lighter areas, highlights, and shadows. Just kind of use the, you know, 
the white the lighter versus the light gray the white versus the light gray like here I want it to be lighter his arm I like making the arms more like a teardrop shape So if you see on this side where I put it over the black, you can tell it's not like a bright, solid color. These two are going to make such a lovely couple. I'm going with this gray now. And I mean, the difference is very minute, like you can't, I don't even know if you'd be able to see it on camera. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you're going to be for Halloween. I love Halloween. My husband and I might be the biker and biker from Super Troopers. I don't know which age group this is watching this right now, but uh, it's funny. Right now I'm using the sharp edge of my brush to create wavy lines with gray. I'm going to give this guy, you know, a little more definition around his face. Remember that you can always use the hashtag, hashtag Jessica Darling Studio to share your paintings also because um, part of this, I mean, I really want to focus on play and having fun while we paint and not so much the product, um, but it's also really fun to see how everybody, you know, how everybody uniquely expresses the same painting. So I do love when I can see paintings from you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go around the outside with a very, like, I think this gray color, slightly darker than what I was using in the ghost, but just to like, give this, this line, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Very thin. Mostly just my water a tiny bit of paint so yeah you can um, use that hashtag you know on YouTube I follow that hashtag on Instagram um, so that I can see everybody's painting just because it's fun you know we all over even if you think it's bad like someone else might think it's really cool and I love seeing how they turn out so anyways don't forget to do that Art is all about having fun. Have fun, be free, immerse yourself in the paint. And I think that looks good. Let's let this, this layer dry and we'll go through and do the final details of his, actually we could even do that right now. Let's do, um, grab black with your quarter inch. We're gonna give him his bow. So if you made this painting already, if you didn't, it doesn't matter, but if you made this painting already, her bow's on this side, I'm gonna do the top hat on the other side. So we're just gonna make a rectangle out of black. 
that goes off to the side. And then a long skinny rectangle. I'm actually gonna almost curve it a little bit so that it's not just straight across. But we'll add some details to help that top hat pop. <laughs> uh, let's clean off our brush really good and add some red paint. He's gonna have a, oh my gosh, do not add that much red paint. We do not need that much. <laughs> You just see like a teeny tiny bit, but whatever if you did, it's just paint. We can always get more, right? Um, if your paint's a little wet, that's fine. We're just gonna do the first layer of his bow tie. I'm just thinking about how I want it on here. I think I'm just gonna have it in the middle. I'm gonna paint a little, you know, oval, kind of a more of a rectangle, I guess, but with round, soft edges, and it's going to go out. He's going to kind of have a big bow tie. So this is going to be, I'm going to make this bow tie triangularly shaped. Okay, I love him. He's so handsome. Let's let this layer dry completely and then we can go forward with final details on our ghost. Let's grab this little tiny brush. If you don't have that, you can grab a white Sharpie or if you don't have a white Sharpie, you can also grab um, like a toothpick and q-tip and you could get similar similar results with something like that but we are going to add his highlights and they're going to be about right here and they're going to i'm going to curve them going that way it's going to mostly be a circle but also like a curvy circle because he's looking at his lady he's like hey girl how you doing i'm going to do another little highlight under just a little dot and then i'm going to swoop do a swooping line under the eyes, like that. Kind of helps, I don't know, I just like those highlights the best. Let's continue with our white highlight action. Let's put some highlights on the bow. I'll do a small semicircle or rainbow right there. I'm gonna do some white lines on each side on the top of the bow. And maybe a shorter white line on the other underside. That looks good. I'm going to do like a little V shape at the end. All right, let's make that hat pop, pop, pop. I'm going to make a, just um, outline the edges here. Just a little bit, not completely. And this part, just kind of around the corners, I guess. And then a little highlight action in that kind of rusty red ribbon on the top. Awesome! Now you can grab your black Sharpie or you can clean off this little paintbrush and we're going to go around the ghost. Let's start. So what we're going to do is we're going to do wig like a wiggly line all the way around on both sides. Um, I'm going to start with the top though first because we need to do the bow. You want to just basically get everything outlined you want up here first so that you don't mess it up. So if you're new here, once again, the goal for this black paint part, as far as getting a nice clean line, is just making sure your paint is nice and loose. There's lots of water in it. So that all looks good. Um, 
I'm gonna just keep going around. Oh, I'm gonna get his arms, that's what I need to do. I'm only gonna outline from this side of his hand and then up. Same on the other side. Alright, let's get it going. Once again, I'm going to do several wiggly lines. It's not like how I usually outline because it's a ghost. They don't really have a solid body, you know? You know, all that science on ghosts. So you should have three or four wiggly lines going all the way down the body on both sides. I'm actually going to do a wiggly, another, an extra one on this side just because this is where the shadow is. So that's like a more solid, darker area of this ghostly being. Now we're going to go up and down pretty aggressively for the bottom. It's kind of following like where we made those shadows. Okay, I think that he is done. Go ahead and add your signature. I'm gonna use white. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like videos like this. I make new ones once a week on Tuesday. The best day ever. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, subscribe if you like content like this. I am, you know, the point of this community is really just about having fun and being playful with art, not so serious. Anyone can join, anyone can be an artist. If you paint, you're an artist, okay? So, boom. Just gonna add my signature. You could do that with Sharpie too. A little easier. It took me like three years to figure out how to sign a painting and I still am not sure about it. Okay. There we have it. Peel your paint off and show off your wonderful work of art. And I'll see you guys next week for another video just like this. Peace out. Bye.